War is next. War is never the answer. War. Huh. What is it good War. for? War never changes. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's right, I gotta say, it. we made it through an hour of recording, and I just made a Fallout reference. That's impressive. That's, that's the first one of the night. That's Sing impressive. Sing the song. Sing it. Oh. No, 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 that's not no, it. No, about a, about, a certain, about a certain magician. A feline, possibly. Yeah. With fur. And a top hat. And Whiskers. they all <laughs> say, Oh, well, I never <laughs> was there ever. A cat so clever as magical Mr. Mustafolis. And they all say, Oh, well, I never was there ever. A cat so clever as magical Mr. Mustafolis. What kind of war memories do you guys got? Not good ones right now. No, oh, like go. real war. I haven't. Have you been to a war? Have you um, gone to a war? Have you? Have you? It's just a simple conversation have starter. Have you? <laughs> have you been to war? Uh, not yet. Don't Are plan on it. Are you signed up for the selective service? Uh, you have to Do be. you be? I think so then, yeah. Yeah. I didn't un unsign up. Probably. Wow. Same, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm probably a war. Hell yeah, yeah. There you go. Hell yeah. Draft me. Yeah. Pick me in the draft. Draft me, bitch. I'm a first rounder. <laughs> I'm first first rounder. I want to make a T-shirt that says draft, "Draft me, bitch." <laughs> I bring that. To, I, I I wear that to bars. Yeah. I think uh <laughs> think I'm like a the Tom, hard like, yeah. yeah beer me or oh, something. Oh yeah, it's multi purpose. Draft. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Multi purpose. But, but in reality, I'm like, nah. I just really want to go to war, but I don't want to sign up. <laughs> I want to. I want to go involuntarily. I want to go involuntarily. I want to be selected I wanna go kicking against my and will. Screaming. <laughs> I want to, like, I want to go to war, but I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to sign up. It's myself. a lot of effort. Yeah, it's a lot of effort. I want them to pick me. It's kind of like that whole thing where it's I just want like, them no, to no, want no, 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 no. I, I don't. I'm not texting first. Yeah, <laughs> I want you to want me. Uh, I just felt like I always thought it would be kind of funny. Like they would be like, uh, if if they would ever do a draft, they they would pick like three people, and it would be like me, Jared, uh, uh -huh. <laughs> the, like, the the top three units we have. Yeah. To offer. It'd be like yeah. me, Jared, Jeff. Uh huh. It's the big three of. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's all you really need to win a war. Like, <laughs> well, let's be let's be realistic here. Yeah. We obviously got Jared in charge. Yeah. So that take a great great or two on its own. Like that's the U.S. Army fast. is literally just like, we have three slots open. <laughs> <laughs> we better need to do a draft. We need better, three better start, hard hitters. Better, yeah. yeah. Better bring in the big guns. <laughs> do you think you get kicked out for colorblindness? I I I I don't think I can be like a police officer or something. Yeah. I don't think I could do that. I don't think I could be a firefighter. I don't, what I don't about the bomb squad? Would you do well in the bomb squad? <laughs> Cut the uh, red wire. Uh. Well, technically, it was weird. Um. There was like a. How about the canine uh, unit? They're all colorblind. Well, there was a class that Me I dog. took. dog. There was like a public speaking class that I took. Um. And everybody had to like make a presentation about something that was kind of important to them. And there was one other guy in my class that was colorblind, and he and he said how like when he was younger. He cried because, like, when he was diagnosed with colorblindness, um, he was, like, he couldn't do anything that he potentially wanted to do, like, be, like, a firefighter or something like that. Like, I was, like, oh, sh I didn't know I couldn't be a firefighter. I didn't know I couldn't do anything like that. Firefighter, I don't really get, honestly. I mean, um, I guess there's something something probably with it, but. Yeah. Might not have been firefighter specifically, but a lot, a lot of, like, the stuff, like, police officer or yeah. whatever, you know, like, you cannot be colorblind Jeez. because... You know, you know, it could be a different I know. something, I guess. Yeah. yeah, it's like your suspect is wearing a green shirt yeah. and then you just you start. Yeah. That's all we have on yeah. them. You start tackling dudes in blue because you just can't tell them apart. Yeah. Damn. Shoot the one with green eyes. <laughs> They're both green to me. <laughs> both his eyes are green. <laughs> well, yeah, it's usually how that works. Not always, but usually. Uh, is this a draw? Oh. No! There's no draws. No draws in war. Oh, we no. only have winners and losers. Yep. <laughs> how, how, would, how would you boys do in war? What Probably not well. Yeah, Probably yeah not no, great. I don't think I'd get very far. Yeah. Probably not great. Then you would die or you just wouldn't be a fan favorite? Uh, yeah, no, I think I'd probably, I'd probably <laughs> be, voted, off. I'd be voted out of the platoon so quick, dude. <laughs> like, my personality does not mesh well with... Would they do a either. draft where they send you to another country's army or something? Like an anti-draft. <laughs> <laughs> the anti-draft. Like, the people yeah. we don't want to deal like, with. It's like, all right, yeah, you're just going elsewhere. You're just going elsewhere. It would be, be like a draft in like football. 
Oh, okay. It's yeah. Like, yeah. Just all the countries get to draft yeah, the like, world population. Yeah, that's like our that's first, what I'm thinking. <laughs> with the first overall selection, we Argentina pick, selects we, Argentina Eric selects Turney. Eric Turney. <laughs> Ohio. <laughs> I'm thinking US. Like, this is feeling like one of those dystopian, like, whatever, like, yeah. stories. Something like, kind of like the Hunger Games or yeah, something yeah. along those, those lines. Yeah. Where it's just like, I'm so, imagining, like, a giant football stadium. I'm imagining, like, the song play or something when, like, uh, the, or, like, I don't know. It could be, like, how, uh, how kids pick, uh, uh, like people four for square kickball. people. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. yeah just, they're like, just all standing in a line. line. Yeah. I want him. I want him. I want him. <laughs> It's like, no, you got to take turns. No, but I want him. I want all no, three. I want, no, <laughs> we're, gotta, we're a package deal. We're on the same team. Yeah, gotta, no, no, yeah. You no, we're, we're a package deal. You, you, you can't just not take both of us. <laughs> we're not going to play on different teams. <laughs> I'm not playing I'm not playing without my boy. Yeah, no, yeah, no. If we're, if we're on different teams, we're both just going to try to throw the I'm game. I'm sorry, Sweden, but we got we to gotta be on the same team. Boom. It's like, oh, God, fine. Okay, we'll take you both. <laughs> all right. All right, let's go. <laughs> Doing the finger <laughs> shit. <laughs> What about what about what about uh, space space marines or, or whatever space Ooh, force? Would space get its own army because Mars has its own army. You could. Mars needs moms. I've heard as well. Ah, uh, yeah, that's what Mars, Mars. Mars has an army, but Mars does need desperate moms. need of moms. Yeah. Do you hear the uh, the International Space Station is coming down at some point? Like it's 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 on its way down in like a couple years. Like oh. they're decommissioning it, the current one at least. There, oh, I th- we I th- have I was, a space ISS? station. Yeah, the ISS. I was I was picturing it like just crashing. I randomly. mean, it's going to crash in like the ocean at some point. Oh, and that's like planned dang to do it. that. That's less funny. It's planned to do that. I'm pretty. I was sure. hoping it would land perfectly in my backyard. You can ask for them to change it to that. They might. They might. <laughs> How about do this? That. How about this? How about this? We go to NASA and we tell them, "You guys take the day off. We, <laughs> <laughs> we got this. We got this. You've well, all been so working. I guarantee you, have, you've we're all been gonna working. find something. <laughs> you've all been we're working doing. very hard. Just, just take, just take the day off. We got this. We got this. How hard can it be, right? We're accomplishing something. <laughs> what would you do if you had 24 hours in control of NASA? Uh, free balloons for everybody. I'm not sure they have rights to that. You're thinking bigger scale than I was. I was just thinking I was going <laughs> to see what they got in their vending machines in the break room. <laughs> I, I, That's I, what see, you do. You're like walking like, us. Yeah, like, uh, see, if they, see if they got good shit in there. Like, I don't know. <laughs> We got monster at my work. That's pretty good. I don't think you need full control of NASA to ask well, if they got well, their vending machines. How about machines. this? How about this? How about this? If we, if we were in control of NASA and we we're like, we gotta, you got, you guys gotta get some shit done. Yeah. Right? Uh, Eric would be in charge of just filling out the vending machine because guess what? These people are gonna be working harder on a full stomach and a lot of monster probably. Yeah, yeah a lot of so, caffeine. A lot yeah. of caffeine. That's <laughs> that's the best way to get a good workforce. Caffeinate the hell out of yeah. them. Yeah. I don't know. We we could probably do something like we could probably find like a. We could probably find something crazy like a fucking, oh, a horse on the moon. Or... <laughs> you think there's just a horse they're hiding up there? Well, if, if there's not a horse, we'll put one on there. Yeah, yeah, we can put a horse on the moon. I, I think he'd get bored. A horse on a moon and a, and a smile on every child's face. Yeah, he, he, yeah. I, I want it to be like the the there's space race, on the, moon. the space race where yeah. every country is trying to put their own horse on the moon. <laughs> First. Can we call it? Can we call it Horse Force? I like I like the idea that because the entire idea behind the Space Force, uh, uh, the Space Race, is that um that like every country was like trying to get to the moon first because right. they they didn't want to look inferior. They wanted to look like hey, you know, like we're, we're better than you. Yeah. Um. So what what's what's, what's crazier than putting a man on a moon? Yeah. Putting a horse on the moon. That's just those things crazy. are big. <laughs> <laughs> they eat a, they eat a lot. Heavy. They eat a lot. <laughs> they eat a lot. We're gonna be eating well. <laughs> we're gonna be doing well or at yeah. the very least the horse will be for yeah. a little bit till we run out of rations that yeah, horse will be a national hero or... <laughs> like these kids will look at that horse and be like when I grow up I wanna be that I wanna be that horse <laughs> do you think the horse would get like concerned about the lack of gravity I like, think he might would, he, yeah, I think would he... the horse understand <laughs> would it just start violently thrashing around and it's just floating away I think the horse might have some issues it's so like on, we might have gotten the horse to the, the moon, moon but we couldn't bring him back yeah I ever thought as like you grow older like you, you, you think it's just like man animals just don't know what's going on most of the time yeah I no. mean it's all instincts pretty much yeah you know? yeah like you know, like you, you may think like a, a dog is like. I used to think dogs are really smart, and they can be, but it's just like compared yeah. to like a cat or something. I feel like dogs are just like inherently like really loving oh, and and happy creatures. But to me, because cats are kind of more of like a bitch, they're more cynical. Yeah, which makes me think they might be a little smarter. Yeah, in terms yeah. of like head to head, I think yeah, I'll give them yeah. that. Yeah, like if we had an IQ test, like my dog versus literally any cat, he'd probably lose. Yeah, yeah. I love my dog. He's kind of stupid. To go to that. <laughs> But I think I think because dogs are just so like uh, well they are they are very dependent on on the human 
at yeah. least in like a domesticated kind of thing. Right. Cats you just throw into a laundry room and they're done. Yeah, you can. They'll figure it out. And they'll figure it out. Yeah. Yeah, they got this. They can break out. I don't know. They'll yeah. find a way. Yeah. A dog would just sh on every single centimeter of that floor. Very oh, true. Oh yeah. And Very puke true. and just like do you know whatever Very true. and chew anything that's like the size that his mouth can fit around. Yeah. yeah. That's that's what I've learned. All the marbles here. By the way, this what's is all the, the marbles. Uh, what are you trying to say? All the marbles on this one. Are you Nothing trying to marbles. imply this is our last game? <laughs> I mean, I'd like to move on at some point, yeah. Why? I've just been going to the I'm right I'm doing pretty the good. This no, one is see, that why? This, 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 is, this is a true message here. War never ends. Oh, okay. So this is, this is just the rest well, of our Well, it's not really now. a message anymore when you have to spell it out to everybody like that. That's a good point. Turn off the switch. What's your... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no! Uh... Let's see, uh, how, how, is, how is the dog? How has the dog been? Um, so, you know, we, we were kind of training him. Uh, things, things were going pretty well with that. Um, until the night that uh, we, we, like, changed his food. Just because, like, we wanted to see if, like, this, the other stuff would be better for him or not. Um, apparently, didn't really react well with his stomach. He had massive, just, diarrhea monsoon. Oh. And he was in his kennel. So, like, it was just everywhere oh it was it was oh. disaster i felt so bad Poor for guy. the puppy yeah i felt bad because like uh when i had a dog uh, i mean like it's still my dog but it's just at my parents house and um it, it's literally like um you know like we had to put him in the cage like first month or so that we had him because like you know you you still have to train him to like not chew up stuff yeah um yeah and like he just pooped all over the floor of the kennel uh, of the cage. I think I think my parents were acting like they were like, "Oh man, why would you do that?" And I'm just like, "Come on, like he, like you really think he wants to be this way? You <laughs> yeah. really think he was like, I, I I'm gonna be a dick and just sh all over the floor? <laughs> yeah, ah, no, he's in this kennel the whole time. He doesn't want to do that." <laughs> no, yeah, that's that's the thing when when especially when puppies have accidents like. You know, your your, your kind of gut instinct reaction is to, like be mad about it, like yeah. oh now there's now there's a fucking mess I gotta clean up or whatever. Nobody stupid wants to dog. Shit their pants. But like, well, you yeah, know, literally, like puppies, <laughs> puppies literally guilty. have no control, like literally no control over their bowels. All they know is like, oh, it's happening, and they yeah. they just they just see, sit down. See, my dog's old, old enough to the point where she can't control it anymore. So it's the same thing. She's on the <laughs> other side of the spectrum. Yeah, just, yeah, it's, it's like she's the, just lost control it of it is, all. They call it the circle of life for <laughs> so a reason. So when she does, it's kind of like, oh, well, I mean. Yeah, it's like, oh, I poor, know she knows better, but. Yeah, poor baby. <laughs> at this point, she's like, oh, man. <laughs> yeah. Poor thing. Like, uh, I will say, though, since little Gus had that diarrhea monsoon in the, the cage, we threw out the cage, by the way. There's just, like, even, even after pressure washing it, there was... Like, just whatever. Jesus. Pressure washed. <laughs> pressure washed a kennel. It didn't get all the shit out. Did he pressure shit on anything. it? I, he had to. Oh, damn. He had to have been pressing his little asshole right against the <laughs> floor of this kennel and just letting it fly. Van Gogh That's the on there. only <laughs> explanation for some of the shape. I don't, I don't know. But since then, though, he has not pooped in the house. So in a bizarro kind of way, I... I mean, it's like scarred him or something, probably. It, probably. He probably just doesn't want to sh** ever again. Yeah, puppy-related trauma, it happens. Not yet. But Not yet. Not yet. Are you getting ahead of yourself? Getting ahead of yourself, don't spoil us. Are you getting ahead us. of yourself, you stupid don't son of a bitch? Don't spoil us for the piano. Dude, for the yeah. piano, June, six we're hours. We're going to do it. <laughs> we're going to do it. Think the, about it. It's the 24 piano. Hour, hour piano live stream. 24 <laughs> hour piano live stream. we got to get past these piano. goddamn card games first. <laughs> There's a lot of we got to play games. tapioca? 